Under the A1's arterial hurry, old tweed spreads out, broad and slow and easy. Its surface feathered by the breeze, all blousy. It laps, sucks, toothless at the undercut mud bank. A glacial boulder, a traffic cone, a Stone Age fish trap, slowly sinking into ooze and slime or slowly uncovered. High overhead, their wings uplit at sunset, armies of herring gulls row their white ghosts downriver. Over the flat hoff, over the salt marsh, they muster out of two countries. Over the wheat fields, the ramparts, the sewage plant, the housing estates, the rotting dockyards, and drift on yarrow slakes like snow, one flock. At White Sands, at Abstel, Callet and Blakewell, at Carrock, at Crowbat, at Gardo and Hallestell, haul in your gear, lads. It's time we were leaving, from Canny and Pedal to Farsees and Sandstill. Ahead, the Royal Border Bridge. It is a gate sorting this side from that side. It combs the broad water. Beached on the mud bank, the haughty swans clap their wings. Here's Berwick, perched on its high horse, looking down on England. The tide is sucking out. It swirls and eddies, claw away the knuckled roots of pines and fossil forests, cones and seeds. The silts, soils, stones of prehistoric oceans dragged from far upstream. The spawn, the snails, the shrimps, the eels, the smoting salmon, millions strong, their populations scattering to far-flung places of migration and desire, tumbled and whirled and rolled together in the dark, the cold salt shifting place where river ends and sea begins to wind all journeys back to where they came from. broken shells, strips torn from desiccated black plastic bin bags metamorphose into crackling scraps of bladder rack, and tubes of polypropylene become the womblick kegs, and strands of willow bough, the hitches, bends and splices of a thousand long discarded nylon towels. As if in this great glittering, meeting, weaving, marrying, relaxing, tweed lets go, its cumulative weight of contradictions. Memories, imaginings, all borders flow into one another, and the line, the human managed measurable shore, is lost to whirling currents and beyond the spiral stream of stars and dust. On the farthest spit of coarse brown grit, sandstill, wind shivers a few blades of lime grass, and the sun picks out a bleached sheep skull, and round around it, rags and tatters that were once a salmon net, so tangled up, their fortunes river-raveled and impossible to separate. 